up kids, Pete Um here again. Actually, uh, I think it's about, I think that was last September, which is 2003, it's now uh, May the 7th, 2004, so can you imagine, time just, and I just found a bit of space at the end of this tape, and I never like to waste anything, apart from, like, my whole life. Um... I've got a lot to do today because I've got a gig in London. It's the second of those Interzone parties, which I think is Interzone 3. And me, the man from Uranus, and Ascoltare, which is uh, Dave, of course, uh, are all going to play at it. And uh, I've also. Oh, I've, I've also got to give back um, Lucas. Lucas, who. Uh, if you remember, has uh, joined some kind of yogic cult, uh, which prompted him to give away a lot of his personal possessions. So I've got like two uh, real to reels. Uh, where are they? Oh yeah. See, that's Lucas's there, and that's mine, right? I thought they were both mine because Lucas gave me his. Uh, but then I think he thought that his yogic family might need it for something. I think they record like the guru's lectures or or something. Do I seem like I'm being unfair? I probably am. Uh, it's just because there's a reel to reel. It's... Anyway, it's cool. I've got one already. His is better, but you know what I mean. And uh, so I've been. He gave me two. He came round last time and he said, I want my reel to reel back. And I was like, fine. And uh, he said, well, look, he didn't say it in such a sort of forward way. He said, well, uh, maybe you could, I'll, I'll give you two weeks. So he's given me two weeks, um, probably back to the day, actually. And uh, I've, been, I've been doing this project, which I call the Lucas Tapes, which is where I try and, like, kind of suck up the last kind of magic out of the, uh, uh, the Lucas machine, the Tayac A3440. Um, I've got some good stuff out of it, although it, it sounds very muddy and shit, but then I've been sort of re-editing it and stuff. Anyway, don't listen to me, um, but, yeah, so I've got to do that, I've got to get rid of, uh, got to get lots of stuff, um, ready for tonight's gig. Um, charge up batteries of various things, mini discs, mobile phones, cameras. Uh, and then me and Phil and Dave are going to get in the filmmobile, the space machine, and 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 travel down um, the astral equivalent of the uh, M25. Well, it is the M25 actually, and get lost in London for a bit, and then go and sit in a big cold warehouse and wait for fate to come and tap us on the nose and say, "You're on, mate. And you better be good because." Um, it was good last time, though. You may have seen the tape. I taped Phil, but he somehow didn't tape me. Well, it wasn't his fault, it was mine, actually. But uh, So I'm hoping that tonight I can get Phil to tape me. Now I'm just rambling. I was going to say something else. Yesterday I had a weird experience. I was uh, in the shop, and possibly because James had told me about Richard being ill. No, Lucas told me. Actually, I think Richard wasn't ill at all. I think he was skiving, because I've seen him, and he seemed fine. A little bit sort of short, but uh, anyway, maybe it was just like power of suggestion, because within about an hour, I started feeling like really rough, really dizzy, shivery, achy, kind of like woozy, uh, wobbly, uh, wonky, uh, and... I thought, I'm coming down with something here, I'm coming down with something fast. And it was like, hung on till lunch break. And, the, you know, you're never quite sure whether it's sort of like, psychosomatic and you're just gonna <gasps> drop dead from something psychosomatic. <laughs> um, but it was bad enough that I felt like I ought to warn my colleagues in um, the whole, whole food business. So I went upstairs and I said, guys, I'm feeling really shit. And they went, you look shit. You do look. Doesn't he look shit? Look at his face. Shit. And uh, so I was like, yeah, right. Don't overdo it. 
and I went home and I was like walking up Mill Road like oh I got a ball um, I'll do that anyway but you know it was like oh, oh. Uh, and then I got home and I had a cheese sandwich and a peanut butter sandwich and some pretzels and a cup of tea and I thought well, I might live you know I may yet live I might be alright here and uh, I've, I've got this weird thing where I just can't like I, I'm, I'm, you know, I could be working for the Nazis or something, and I wouldn't be able to phone in sick. You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm really, I'm, I, you know, I just feel I've got a weird guilt thing where I just, I do do it. You know, don't get me wrong, I've skived as much as the next person. It's just that I don't, I don't like doing it. And, um, but anyway, you know, I'd laid all the groundwork and stuff. Uh, and they were very surprised to see me back. But <clears throat> as I was walking back, I uh, I suddenly... It was very strange, because I I did feel really spaced out, really genuinely uh, un, like an unreal kind of feeling. And I've been feeling very rough lately anyway. I think partly getting old. I think a few lifestyle um, choices have, uh, are starting to kind of like... Uh, you know, the chickens are 